trouble. like freaking uh, 80 degrees here in Alabama and it's been holding pretty nice so I might be swimming before I thought but my pool is ready anyway um, first of all let me say this man some people are like dude every time you do your predictions and you get it right you come off like you're bragging like dude it's kind of cheesy how you brag about it let me say this man if I come off like I'm bragging and you don't like it stop being a soft bitch all right that's Advice numero uno, stop being a soft bitch. Or go to a soft bitch's channel. I'm not a soft bitch channel, okay? We're in the stock market. It's kind of like the Kentucky Derby. It's kind of like the horse races. When you get it right, what happens? You make money, all right? And when you get it right often, what happens? You make a lot of money. So I'm very precise with my predictions. You guys know it, man. Like, I don't just call the direction. I call the dollar amount, right? Like today, I said, hey, man, we're holding 18. I could get it wrong, but I, I'm not saying we're going to 19 and we're not going to fall below. It, I don't see a sell-off coming because there's no reason for it to sell off. I said, we're going to hold 18 today. And we held 18 today. If you guys rewind um, two weeks worth of videos, you're going to see that all my predictions were to the T. I nailed every one of them. Um, if I'm patting myself on the back for that, it's because you, you guys are making money off of what I'm doing. And I hope you're making money. I personally didn't even play the past two, three weeks, even though every one of my predictions in the past two, three weeks were 100% spot on. And it's like a pinprick to the heart because I'm not throwing out wild cards. I'm not throwing out wild shots. I'm not saying this could happen in this direction or that could happen in that direction. You decide. I'm telling you what the hell is going to happen in every video. So again, if you're a soft bitch, don't come around because I got hardcore mofos wanting to make money off of what comes out of my mouth. And if I'm getting it right, just like in, I do bet horses, by the way. And my wife don't even know how the hell I do it, man. She thinks I'm in cahoots with some of these freaking uh, jockeys and shit because I get it right fairly often. But it's the same thing. A lot of times you have the information, but then you got your gut. And I always go with... My gut more than the information. Uh, like a lot of guys read charts. I read charts, but by no means is that like the be all end all for me. And that's why I don't ever have like two different directions to go in. After I accumulate information, I then process it through my gut. And then my gut says, this is what's going to happen. And that's how I even bet horses, man, at the Belmont, at the Kentucky Derby. You know, that's just the way it is, man. So. I get it wrong. Of course I get it wrong. Nobody's right all the freaking time. I don't have a crystal ball. Some dudes come on here like, dude, you're always bragging. What do you got a crystal? You act like you got a crystal ball shit like that. Again, this is the market. We're up against sharks. If people can make money off of what comes out of my mouth and I'm, I'm not afraid to be very precise and specific with my predictions. Um, that's pretty ballsy, if you ask me. It's pretty ballsy that, you know, I will come out here and just lay it out there. And if I lose, I lose. And I look like a loser if it doesn't happen, right? Come on, all right? You take the risks I take with doing these videos, they could blow up in your freaking face. And then people, you know, can push that in your face. But when you're getting it right, I don't see a reason to come at me. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. So that's all I got to say. We held the $18 line. Watch my video from yesterday. I said we weren't shooting a 19, but again, there was no reason for this thing to sell off going into the Easter weekend. Come Monday, though, different story. So again, I'm going to process information. I'm going to do a video on what I think is going to happen Monday. Uh, possibly need to apologize to the Ape Father because I said it was a comment, and I said it appeared as though Ape Father was commenting that I wasn't giving it to my wife because I destroyed my sex drive from all the steroids that I took. He's saying there's people... Uh, putting up channels, acting as him, and if that's the case, then I owe you an apology, and that very well could be it, because it was a comment, it wasn't in a video, bro, I even said it was a comment, that looked like it was coming from you, okay, um, so I'll do a separate video for that, but, you know, if it, apologies do, you damn straight, I'm gonna fucking do it, you guys have an awesome afternoon, see you soon, peace!